Hello and what's up, Radar Force? It's Cold again with another collection update video, and this one I'm super freaking pumped to uh, be showing you guys. Um, so as you guys know, I am trying to collect all uh, U.S. home media of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Super, and Dragon Ball Z Kai. I almost forgot that one. Oh, uh, that that includes uh, DVD, VHS, manga, laser disc, mini disc, books, comics, graphic novels. And probably some other things that I'm missing, Blu-ray, and all that, all that crap. Oh, CDs, obviously in front of my eyeballs. How did I miss that one? Uh, and um, if you guys are up, read, if you guys are up to date with my channel, um, you guys know uh, I just started collecting these CDs, and there is a, there was a total of eleven of them, and uh, well, technically there's a twelve now because there is an alternate art which I didn't discover until I got these three. Which is cool because luck was on my side this time, and I actually got both in a lot, so it worked out. Um, um, so these are the last three that I needed. Plus, you know what? Let me get it out so there'd be no confusion in this room whatsoever. All right, volume one, which volume one, right here, which uh, I just got in the lot that came with these three, and uh, I had no idea. I didn't think there was a difference, but Sure enough, there is, because this one right here is the special edition Best of DBZ Volume 1 American Soundtrack. So there's, there's a collector edition, 1 through 1,000 were released. Mine's like 600-something. I'll, I'll get that out later. Uh, but yeah, these are the ones I did not know there was a standard copy. So there is technically 12 releases, which we'll cover it. But right now, we're going to go to the, the rare ones. So right here we have the uh, Majin Saga's uh, American Soundtrack. Uh... I've listened to this one. Very beautiful. One of my favorites. Uh, we have uh, Best of DBZ Volume 5. Really hard to find. Also one of my favorites. And the Lost Episodes of DBZ uh, Best of Dragon Ball Z Volume 6. Uh, I'm currently listening on this one. I have not finished it uh, uh, since recording. And then like I said, you have the Standard Edition 2 Volume 1. Uh, but yeah, dude. Uh, let me open these up real quick. All right, yeah, so open them up. I mean, just, just to confirm that, you know, I actually do have the disc. We got Volume 5, Volume 6, and the Majin Sagas. These are the rarest that I found. If you're if you're looking to collect these, uh, these are th the three rarest to find. Uh, there's actually one more that's pretty rare. Uh, but these I could not find for like three months straight. Finally, I got them, and I am pumped. Uh, because it's, it's like... A, <laughs> Like, at the point I am with my collection, I thought I was pretty much done. And then I found a whole lot of things that I was missing. And then, you know, you, you think you just are left to the hardest things to find. Uh, but then you find a bunch. And then you find out there's some of those that are hard as crap to find. Uh, but anyways, right now I'm going to show you all of the CDs. All 12 of them. So we got... Uh, actually, let's start with the Dragon Ball. There is one Dragon Ball CD. Which I am going to make a product review of this right after recording this for you guys. If you want a more detailed list. We've got Dragon Ball. Uh, the original USA TV soundtrack. And Dragon Ball Z original USA TV, television soundtrack. Uh, that is probably the... Uh, these four right here are probably the rarest. The uh, original USA, Volume 6, Majin Sagas, and Volume 5. Those are the rarest. You can't, you can't just go and pick them up. Unless you're lucky and you just somehow happen to see it the day you start collecting. Uh, okay, we got the original USA soundtracks. We got the collector's edition, well, special edition. Uh, and then you have the standard edition to volume one. The tracks are the same. Uh, the UPC codes are the same, but it is technically an alternate art, which, in my opinion, uh, I own all the alternate arts that I know of. Yeah, so I technically count alternate artworks as a separate release in my book. Um, and I know I'm not, I don't speak for everyone. But in my collection list that I posted on YouTube, um, I include alternate artworks, uh, even if it's the same UPC. Uh, volume 4, Volume 5, Volume 6. Uh, let's get the Trunks Android 18, the the worst soundtrack of the bunch. And, uh, uh, but yeah, uh, here is all 12 of them. And... Goodness gracious, I'm I'm pumped to have them, and I've been listening to these every day in my car on the way to work. I have a 30 minute drive, and good lord, 
man, I, I they're just great to listen to, man. It brings back so many memories. But yeah, uh, if I had to rate these to my favorite, uh, favorite being probably, and this is this is tough right now. I'm in between like I'm in between volume one, two, five, six, and the Majin Sagas. Those are my favorites. If I had to rule them out. Probably Volume 1, 2, or Majin Sagas currently. Now, I haven't listened to 6 fully, so I'm still in debate. But if I had to eliminate, if I had to pick, it's, oh, God, it's 1, 2, or Majin Sagas. I may I may be swaying to the Majin Sagas. I just need to listen to them a few more times. But 1, one I never get old of 1. You know, you never get tired of 1. Uh, but, yeah, Majin Sagas, is, I love the cover. But that's all of the soundtracks, man. And my collection is officially down, too. But a lot of them. Five items remaining. I'm missing the world's strongest laser disc. I'm missing five Fortune Teller Baba edited VHS. I'm missing two mini disc from DBZ or I mean Dragon Ball GT. And then I'm missing what's the last thing I'm missing? Oh, Epic Battle for the GameCube. That's the last thing. So three DVDs, one VHS, and one laser disc. And that's it for my entire collection that I know of that exists. And like, like I said, if anybody knows of any more media-related things, that's not counting the games. I don't count the games just because I never got into those. But even though I am going to play them on my channel, uh, and I am collecting some games, but I'm not I'm not getting into all the releases in like Game Boy, uh, the DS, um, NES, and 64. I'm not getting into those. If I do collect, it's just going to be like one, the uh, uh, standard copies and... From PS1 all the way to current gen consoles. Uh, but look out for those videos because I am going to start streaming twice a week hopefully. But right now it's once a week on Facebook. And if you guys enjoyed this kind of video, uh, hit that subscribe button and the bell to keep up with my content. And uh, you guys take care and I'll see you guys on the next one. Laters.